Hey folks, Mike Naso here. As we approach hurricane season 2022, predicted to be a very active year once again, I wanted to tell you a little bit about this year's name list. Now, a little past history, in the 1950s and 60s and 70s, they gave hurricanes female names. The National Hurricane Center would name a hurricane, and there were rotating lists, so it would be Camille, Carla, Donna, Diane, Hazel, names like that. In 1979, the World Meteorological Organization decided, you know what, we are going to alternate male and female names. We're going to pick 21 letters, excluding Q, U, X, Y, and Z, since that's too hard to come up with names starting with those letters. And we will have A through W, male, female, male, female, and we will rotate six different name lists every six years. So the 1979 list will be used in 1985, and then again in 91, and then 97, and so on and so forth. And it's been a pretty good system. We've done it for over 40 years now, and unless a hurricane is really destructive or some country requests that storm be retired, uh, the names are reused. Sometimes many, many times, especially for those of us been tracking a couple of decades, I can't tell you how many tropical storm Arleans I've tracked. But this is the name list for hurricane season of 2022. And you can see we start off with Alex, and then we go through Bonnie, Colin, Danielle, Earl, Fiona, Gaston, Hermine. And then we have Ian, G uh, Julia, which is a replacement name. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then Carl, Lisa, Martin, Nicole, Owen, which is a new name on the list. And then we go further with Paula, Richard, Sherry, Tobias, Virginie, and Walter. Now, this name list is not the first time we've used it. We used it in 1980, we used it again in 86, which was a very inactive year, but we've had some devastating storms retired. In 1980, Hurricane Allen was the first name on this list, the first time it was used, and boy was it a devastating storm. Take a look at this track. This was a Category 5 hurricane several times during its lifespan. It moved off Africa in August. During a huge August heat wave that was going on in the U.S., rolled right up through the Caribbean, hit sub-900 millibar pressure, record-breaking hurricane, and then it slammed into Texas as a major hurricane, causing a lot of problems. We replaced the name Allen in 86 with Andrew which was used in 92 and obviously destroyed southeast Florida. This wind damage here is some of the worst damage I've ever seen from any hurricane anywhere. Uh, to this day, that's still the wind damage benchmark for hurricanes, the way it chewed up southeast Florida and spit it back out. Now, Bonnie is interesting. For those of you youngsters watching this update, or not even that young anymore, if you weren't around in 98, I was. I was 10 years old tracking Hurricane Bonnie. Came off the coast of Africa looking like this. It was a monster wave, slammed into North Carolina, and caused a lot of problems. But it just wasn't bad enough to retire the name. So it's interesting, there's another Bonnie somewhere in the future that's going to be worse than that one. But I'll always remember that Bonnie from when I was tracking back in the 1990s. Obviously, Hurricane Charlie, 2004, we thought it was going to come into the Tampa area about 110, 115 miles an hour, and it took a right hook and uh, rapidly intensified to 150 miles per hour, a Category 4, borderline 5, and slammed right up Charlotte Harbor, and uh, we were actually on air doing the internet radio show at the time, uh, and I was uh, 15 years old. And that was the first major hurricane to hit the United States since 1999. And really, that was kind of the opener to the two horrific 2004 and 2005 seasons. Of course, Danielle and Earl have always been there, but Francis. Here's an interesting fact. In 2004, the nation of France said they were offended by the name being on a hurricane name list even though there's millions of women with the name Francis spelled just like that. So we said, okay, okay, let's use the name Francis in 2004, see what happens, and regardless of what happens, we'll retire it. Well, obviously, this happened. A few weeks after Charlie, Hurricane Francis slammed into Florida, and that was that. We got to retire the name regardless of what the nation of France wanted. 
uh, George in 98. Oh, anybody tracking in 98 remembers Hurricane George. This thing roared through the Caribbean. It roared over Hispaniola, roared over Cuba, roared over the Florida Keys, finally slammed into Biloxi, Mississippi, killing hundreds along its path of devastation. Hurricane George was retired and replaced with Gaston that is still on this list. Hermine's always been there. We haven't had that many memorable Hermine's. There was one back in 2016, hit the panhandle as a run-of-the-mill Category 1, but we haven't had any real destructive Hurricane Hermine's. That's not to say the I name storm. Let me tell you guys something. I have tracked Hurricane Iris, Hurricane Isidore, Hurricane Isabel, Hurricane Ivan, Hurricane Ike, Hurricane Ingrid, Hurricane Irene, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Ida. The I name storm usually happens right at that peak of the most destructive part of hurricane season. And that's why, keep your eye on Ian. But you can see Hurricane Ivan was retired in 2004. And of course, Hurricane Igor in 2010. It was this monster and it looked like it was safely out to sea, but it affected areas up north there near the Canadian Maritimes pretty bad. Newfoundland, Nova Scotia. They're often at risk from hurricanes too, and that storm was retired. Hurricane Jean 2004 slammed into Florida as a Category 3, but its most memorable death toll was thousands dead from the flooding rains over Haiti and Hispaniola, the whole area there of Hispaniola, and they retired Jean. Carl 2010, major hurricane in New Mexico, didn't retire the name. It just wasn't bad enough. Same thing with Alex in 2010. That was another Mexican hit. 2010, Mexico got pummeled, but the storm names remain on our list for this year. Uh, we go down further, the M storm. Let me tell you guys something. 1998, Hurricane Mitch killed over 10,000 people in Central America from mudslides and flooding. Okay, it set Honduras, Nicaragua, some of those areas up there in Honduras, it set that nation back at least 50 years. The mudslides buried villages. They never found bodies. We replaced Mitch with Matthew in 2016. Hurricane Matthew devastated the Caribbean. Watch Martin, because that M storm on this list has a bad reputation. Nicole was a Category 4 near Bermuda in 2016, but it didn't cause enough damage to get retired. Otto was retired in 2016, and then Hurricane Tomas in 2010 caused flooding in Haiti and a lot of problems, and they replaced that on this year's name list. So that's a little bit of trivia about the retired names on this year's list. The point is, is that the more darts you throw at a dartboard, the more the chance you're gonna hit the bullseye. And uh, with this season expected to be so active, my hunch is that some name on this list is going to end up in retired hurricane history. Let's hope not, but you got to be prepared. I'm Mike Naso, and I'll talk to you guys next time as hurricane season 22 fast approaches.